Welcome back to Squawk Box, everybody. As we mentioned, Apple shares are on the rise over the last few sessions. Steve Kovac is here. He joins us on what's behind that move. Steve, what's going on? Hey Come there. On. Yeah, Apple rallying over the last two trading days after two big analyst calls, up nearly 2% yesterday after Goldman Sachs initiated coverage again, with a buy rating and a $199 price target. That's 30% upside from its closing price yesterday and the highest on the street. Average price target among analysts is about 169 bucks. Goldman's call follows Morgan Stanley's new price target on Friday of $180. So what's driving this optimism, especially as hardware sales slip from the pandemic boom? Well, it's all about the install base or the number of Apple devices in use today. And those are all drivers for the services business, which helps boost margins and dries up how much money per user Apple can make. Goldman analysts put it this way, quote, we believe that the market's focus on slower product revenue, growth masks the strength of Apple ecosystem and associated revenue, durability and visibility. But there are still headwinds in the near term, foreign exchange falling advertising rates and app store growth is still slowing. Now on the hardware side, the anticipated AR VR headset, which we should finally see in June, it's not expected to really move the needle for Apple. It's too expensive and too experimental. But longer term, both firms expecting pent up demand for new iPhones to hit again, spurring another super cycle in sales like we saw in 2020 and 2021, guys.